this the best lie you've ever given? Because there is this classic thing. I remember when I was an actor, I think I've said that I could ride a horse at least four or five times when I'm terrified of horses. And it is a classic. All yeah. actors just... Yeah. The tri have you ever told an outright, sat there and gone, yep, yeah. I, can, I can ski? Yeah. Or I think when you start, I think you have to sort of embellish a bit of what you, your skills are and what yeah. you can do and what you have done. Yeah, for example, you tell people you can act. That, which is <laughs> the first hurdle you have to overcome. They can <laughs> clearly see that though, straight away. You can't. Mm. <laughs> so it says it here on your CV that you can act and it's, uh, <laughs> it's becoming more and more clear that you can't. <laughs> there was one, it was actually quite soon after I graduated and it was a tap dancing type show. They asked me, the choreographer couldn't be there that day, and they said, can you tap dance? And I went, yeah, I'm really good. I've tap danced loads. I got the job from the acting skills, but then we had to, I thought to myself, right, I'll go to a little class and I'll do some tap dance. I'll be fine, I can move a bit, I'll be fine. Holy crap. I didn't realize how hard tap dancing is. It's so hard. I went, I literally just couldn't do anything at all. And I thought, how am I going to get through this? Happening? I thought, it's all right, there'll be loads of other boys, it'll be fine. There was three of us. First day rehearsal, we went, oh, okay, get your tap shoes on. Oh, no, I, I haven't brought mine today. I'll just sort of do this with my shoes. Kept going, kept going. At the end of the day, he went, right. One of you told me you were brilliant at tap dancing on the phone, this audition. Who was it? Silence. I didn't say anything. <laughs> I think he knew by the end it was me, though. I got away with it. I practiced and practiced, and in the end, I had tap shoes on in the show, and I did the number. Incredible. Proud, but I'm still rubbish at it. It was a, a, um, a period drama, not a period drama, a, a medieval piece, and it was. They asked about horse riding skills and swordsmanship, and my answer to both was, uh, you know, I'm pretty good at both, and I've I've been pony trekking <laughs> in Wales. Um, <laughs> aside from that. That's my only, I haven't had any experience with horses, but you know, you can get on the back of a horse and, and theoretically, unless you have to gallop and stuff, but the sword fighting. On a horse. Was it, yeah, that's a little different. And uh, so, I, 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 and I made stuff up, I literally just made stuff up. I said, uh, and I made stuff up about when I was living in Vancouver, because then it's harder to check. And I <laughs> can't believe I'm saying this on camera. Um, and, and then I went, literally the same day I got on the internet and I found a, a, a wonderful chap who, who teaches sword fighting for real, for those, um, what do they call them, reenactments Re Re in yeah. the fields and stuff, but also for, for stage and film. And I booked four emergency lessons, so to speak, and he taught me how to use four different ki kinds of sword, like a long sword, which is the most important for the role. And then I didn't get the job anyway, so I sort of... You know, but now you can of, have it on waste your CV. Of money. No, no, because now it's on your CV yeah. as an actual yeah. official four lesson. Yeah. You know what I mean? Skill. Yeah. Well, 40 is what I say. 40 yeah. lessons, yeah. yeah, it's a zero on the end. Yeah. So I'm a veteran in sword, swordsmanship now. And horse riding. You're pretty, you know, yeah. you're really up there, aren't you? Oh. Yeah. You were up for Robin Hood, but Russell yeah. Crowe just he jumped in, didn't he? I have to let him have the odd role. He's, he's struggling. Yeah. Yeah, and Ridley's, you know, on the phone, he's probably ringing now, but I've silenced my phone for the interview. You know, uh, and um, let's talk about something else. <laughs> <laughs>